What's up, YouTube? This is Lizards81 here, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.5 or iOS 4.2.10. So just today, iOS 4.3.5 alongside iOS 4.2.10 for CDMA iPhones was released today. And already we've got a jailbreak for using the newest version of Red Snow, which is 0.9.8b3. So unfortunately, this is a tethered jailbreak. We are not expecting an untethered jailbreak anytime soon. We're just going to have to make do for now. If you do have SH blobs for iOS 4.3.3 or earlier, I would recommend going to go ahead and downgrade to those firmware. But for now, what we're going to do is show you how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.5 or iOS 4.2.10. So here's what you will need for this. The first thing is, of course, your computer, Mac, or Windows, your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. No iPad 2, only iPad 1 is supported. Your USB to 30-pin dock connector cable, an iOS 4.3.4 IPSW, or enhance the iOS 4.3.4, not iOS 4.3.5 IPSW, because Retina won't recognize 4.3.5, but it will recognize 4.3.4, which is how we're going to do this jailbreak. And of course, Red Snow itself. All links to this stuff will be in the video description. So the first thing you're going to go ahead and do is plug in your device, just like I have done so here. And if iTunes doesn't automatically sync and back up your device, what you're going to go ahead and do is right-click on your device in iTunes, choose Backup, and iTunes will automatically back it up. While it's doing that, we can go ahead and download iOS our iOS 4.3.4 IPSW from these links here. Now I can't find it on the website that I normally download all these links from. For some reason, Flex, Flex, FelixBruns.de isn't working properly today. So for now, we can use this Redmond Pi link, which has all the iOS 4.3.4 IPSWs, as well as this the Reader's Eye link, which just as well has the 4.3.4 IPSWs or if you have IPSW downloader like I have here you can go ahead and download iOS 4.3.4 from there for example there we go that's for the iPad 2 but of course this will not work for the iPad 2 so now that iTunes has finished backing up our device what we can go ahead and do is close out iTunes and open up Red Snow 0.9.8 B3 just going to go ahead and open up the application and then we're going to browse for our iOS 4.3.4 like I said IPSW mine is conveniently located on a in a folder on my desktop so we're just going to go ahead and click that rest is going to process the firmware and you will see IPSW successfully identified go ahead and click next and rest is going to pass the kernel and do all this sorts of stuff here And then when it's done, what we're going to go ahead and do is install Cydia. And if you want, enable battery percentage as well as boot animations. We're just going to go ahead and keep those defaults right now. We're going to go ahead and click next. And now what we're going to do is put our device into DFU mode. Okay, so what we need to do in order to go into DFU mode is slide to power off our device just by holding the sleep button. And there we go, slide to power off. And then we're going to go ahead and click next once our device is powered off. Hold the sleep button for 3 seconds, then hold the home and sleep button for 10 seconds. Then release the sleep button, then continue to hold the home button for about 15 seconds, however usually it takes much less than this. Okay, and there we go. That is the right screen, white screen. We can go ahead and release the home button. And upon this process, we're going to see um, a sort of spinning disk drive right there. That's the disk image, I guess, as well as the X point, which is a series of code like this. And then afterwards, we're finally going to see a running pineapple on the screen as well as the Apple logo. So I will come back to you guys when all this is done. All right, guys. So now you will see if you try to go ahead and launch Studio, it will crash on load. This is because this jailbreak is tethered. So what we need to do is go ahead and launch Red Snow one more time, just like so. We're going to browse for that same iOS 4.3.4 IPSW. It's going to process the firmware once again, and then successfully identify it. Go ahead and click Next once again. Then when that's done, what we need to do is check the box that says just boot tethered right now. And that will uncheck any other boxes that you have selected. 
go ahead and click next and what you're going to go ahead and do is go back into dfu mode now i'm not going to show you that again because i already already showed you once in that video so after you've gone through that dfu process again you will be able to launch cydia just like so and of course each time you restart your device you will have to reboot it tethered via wet red snow because that's how a uh, tether jailbreak works but for now that's about it i hope you enjoy this video Please remember to favorite, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.